I joked after interviewing Mark Ryan Hagen that the next guy I would interview would be Ed Greenwood, the creator of The Forgotten Realms. And sure enough, within the next few days I will be interviewing Ed Greenwood, creator of The Forgotten Realms. Now I won't be conducting this interview over Google Plus as I was with Mark Ryan Hagen, unfortunately, not my choice. But that means that there won't be a live feed and it means you won't be able to pose questions to Ed as the interview goes on, but this video here is an opportunity for you to put in the comments questions for Ed Greenwood, and now providing there aren't hundreds of them, or even if there are I will select the best ones, I will be able to ask those questions of Ed during the interview, which as I say will take place in the next few days. Ed Greenwood, if you are unfamiliar with him, is the creator of the Forgotten Realms, the Forgotten Realms being one of the preeminent settings of D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, and appearing in video games such as the Baldur's Gate series, the Icewind Dale series, the Neverwinter Nights series, being in board games and comics, and of course all of the Forgotten Realms novels, of which there are plenty, R.A. Salvatore being one of the most popular Forgotten Realms authors as the creator of Drizzt D'Urden. Ed Greenwood, going back to the man I am actually interviewing, is the creator of the large part of Forgotten Realms, almost, I'd say, 95% of it. And while I understand he still uses the basic, the first edition <laughs> campaign setting for Forgotten Realms for his campaign that he runs, he has had a large amount of input in every established campaign setting of it yet yeah, every edition. So I would be very interested to see your questions and I will ask them, I promise you. If I have the time, if I have the opportunity during this interview I will ask them of him. And it is a bit of a coup, I am quite starstruck by the idea of interviewing Ed Greenwood. I, like I said I was joking about it at first but but yeah, I, I'm doing it so, uh, so that's excellent. Now on to other things, less happy things. Um, there's been an awful lot of trolling on YouTube lately among the RPG Brigade members. I say among, it doesn't mean that uh, Sean Connors has been going on to Blue Spruce's videos and saying, I bloody hate you, and Andrew Gloy hasn't been appearing on the videos of Ander Woods saying, oh, stick your head up your ass, you ranting and raving maniac. No, no, that isn't what's been going on. People have been posting, people who have never posted before, in comments to insult and to criticise, but not constructively criticise, just criticise many of our videos. And this video isn't here to ask them to stop. That would be ridiculous, because people like that don't stop. It's a bit like bullies at school, you know. They just want to get their voice heard. And some of us have thick skins and can deal with it quite happily. Just go straight off us. Others take these things more to heart and may even contemplate shutting down their channel due to the amount of negative criticism. But to please do bear in mind my advice to them, those people who do take these things to heart, those people just because they are vocal does not mean they are in the majority. Rather, they are just hateful people who take great pleasure in people's misery and pain and, and just find it amusing to upset people. The best thing you can do is just remove the comment without, without uh, replying to it. Just remove it, because then you won't have it there to remind you or anyone else that anyone posted negatively. Just remove it and block the bastard. That's all you have to do. Now, I very rarely get negative comments in my videos. I used to and I still occasionally do, but I am bolstered somewhat by the level of support that I get. While I wouldn't say I had a rabid fan base or cult surrounding me, there are people who enjoy The Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, I think, and when they see people posting insulting comments, they jump on them <laughs> and say, fuck off, pretty much. Um, I had one on one of my XCOM videos on my other channel that said, well, look at him, he's a 30-year-old virgin who, uh, with no job or something like that. And uh, for once, I actually replied to one of these things by saying, I'm actually 27, I'm going to get married uh, in March next year, and I do have a job, so go fuck yourself. But that was just because I found it quite amusing that this person was quite off base. Battle Bunny did respond with, he, you are a nerd though, like he said, and yeah, alright, fair enough. But anyway, I ha actually received most of my negative criticism through private messages. 
and some of it's been taking a certain trend on. A lot of it is to do with my nationality. I'm British, don't you know? Can't you tell? Some people think I'm putting on an accent, some people say I'm putting on a voice. And my real voice is more like this. Uh, no, it isn't. My real voice isn't like Christian Grey's. My real voice is this. Well, as much as it is now, it never used to be. My voice has changed over time. But this is my voice now. It is my real accent. And some people have said I sound, well, one person quite eloquently said, I sound like I'm having something shoved at my urethra. Now, I've never had stones, so I've never had to have anything shoved at my ure urethra. I've never had anything shoved up there sexually either. I understand some people do that. There are videos out there, check them out, of men getting things shoved up the uh, urethras. My urethra is insert free. I can guarantee you that. While I won't show it to you, I will promise you that there has never been anything entered in that particular orifice, and I hope to keep it that way. Now, the other criticism I get is to do with my involvement in the YouTube RPG Brigade, which I would just like to point out, and I point out to these people when I can be asked to reply to them. The YouTube RPG Brigade was created by me. Although possibly not the YouTube RPG Brigade that we know and love today. The first usage of the term YouTube RPG Brigade appeared in my Let's Play of XCOM Terror from the Deep on this channel, Clack Click Bang. I had two squads of Aquanauts. I had Squadron UK, comprised of fictional characters, and I had the YouTube RPG Brigade, comprised of YouTubers who put out role-playing game videos. And while I would hesitate to say this was the first community of gamers. As far as I know, that's the first place they were ever listed, the first place they were ever put together. So there was me, there was Samwise7RPG, there was Desardis, there was Azurk83, there was Sean Connors, the Outsiders 68, there was Tower Guard DM, there was, yeah, all, everyone, all of the old stalwarts of the YouTube RPG Brigade. And I just named them that. They went in to fight Gill Men and Deep Ones and died invariably. But that was the first time they were ever put together. So I find the idea that I have no involvement in the YouTube RPG Brigade quite insulting, especially as I put that YouTube RPG Brigade video up probably about a year ago now with a list of everyone that I knew of that was making role playing game videos, with some additions that came later as well. I added them to it. But I'm told that I don't comment enough on other people's videos, that I don't do video responses, that I don't watch people's videos. Uh, and while I hesitate to defend myself because I don't feel I need to, I can tell you that I do watch other people's videos, I just don't always have the opportunity to comment on them because I'm often out walking or jogging and listening to them on my phone and I don't want to stop to type every single bloody time I want to comment. Just take it for granted, I often watch your videos. Um, but this channel, while it it doesn't just serve to make video responses. I do the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming as its own separate entity. I do reviews on here. I do discussions of the games I am running. I do discussions of features of games like uh, My Vampires and Forgotten Realms videos. And for some reason that is being seen as not a big enough part of the community. Well, the community doesn't have a leader, it doesn't have a direction, it is just a mass of people making videos about the hobby that they love, role-playing games. There is no obligation on anyone to do anything, any amount, any volume of videos. You do whatever the hell you like, and I do whatever the hell I like, and I don't really give much of a shit about whether you don't like what's on my channel, because there are plenty of others that you can go to where you will like what you see. My videos are well known for being lengthy and rambling. If you don't like that, go and see another person's videos that are much shorter. There are many other YouTube RPG Brigade members who do shorter videos. And if you don't like them, go and watch Kurt Weagles, because you can't find reviews that are much shorter than them. <laughs> now, I'm told that there's elitism and that I am responsible for that. Now, I think that's partly because of the character I play. I play the Gentleman Gamer. My real name is Matthew. I've pointed that out a few times. Many people have named me Matthew in videos. Oh, my anonymity is broken. And 
is a character. Yeah, my character when I started out on here was the Gentleman Gamer. If I dropped it now and just started saying, Hi, welcome to Matthew's Guide to Gaming. I don't really like that as much. I don't think it adds it as much credibility to it. And certainly I've done nothing to perpetrate or perpetuate a, a, a an elitism. I wouldn't like to think so. I think in my discussion video with Eunice of Hammered Shitsteak, I was quite happy with the fact that there were lots of new members of the community who were making lots of videos and while I conceded that I wouldn't be able to watch all of those videos I was happy that they existed. I don't feel there should be a special group of us, I don't feel there should be a group within a group, I don't feel like there is any kind of elite here. While certainly some people may feel that they are better than others then that is just a matter of opinion. My channel can stand and fall stand awful on its own merits. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you do like it, then thank you. Thank you very much for liking my video. Thank you very much for commenting on my video, and thank you very much for subscribing to my channel if you choose to do so. Uh, but I will never ask you to, because that is entirely up to you. So, I th happen to think, and maybe it's just because I've got a thick skin, that the kinds of insults that are thrown my way are baseless. I feel that I'm as involved in this community as I want to be, as I can be, and I respond to people's videos when I can, I comment on people's videos when I can, I like them when I can, I watch them when I can, but am I going to feel guilty because I can't watch all of them? because I can't comment on all of them, make video responses to all of them, or like all of them, or subscribe to every channel going? No. Because there's just not enough time in the world, and if someone ever knows of a fantastic video that I might not have seen, by all means, send me a message, tell me, watch this video, it's great. Because I will watch it. If you make a video response to me, I will watch that. And who knows, I may make a video response to you, I've done it in the past. So, this video, which turned out, well, started with Ed Greenwood, woohoo, in the next few days, uh, is, um, I don't want it to think it's taken a downturn, but I'm just laying the facts out as I see them. This is my channel, and I can do what I like with it, and I am the Gentleman Gamer, that's my character. So if you think that's snobbish, if you think that's elitist, that I consider myself the Gentleman Gamer, don't forget the reason I call it the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, the only reason I've ever called it the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, is because it's a guide to gaming that is not insulting, it's not hurtful, it's not crass or rude or aggressive. It's a gentleman's guide to gaming. It's a series of fair appraisals, fair reviews, kind words to be said. Always looking for the best in role-playing games. Because I know every single role-playing game I've ever read or played or run has had someone investing time and effort into the writing of it. Why would I want to come on here and say, this game's shit? On the off chance that the author might read it and think, Christ... This person, who gets several hundred views on his videos, has just persuaded several hundred people not to buy my product. Why would I want to do that, when I could just highlight the positives and say, if you like those things, buy this game. I don't know. Well, that's why I call it the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, and the only reason I'm referred to as the Gentleman Gamer is because Tetsubo came up with that name. <laughs> Uh, and I, it's just stuck. It's That's what people have gone on to call me. That's what people call me when they go up to me at conventions. It's a gentleman gamer. And I don't mind that. It, you know, there's worse names. I'd much rather be called the gentleman gamer than hammered shit steak. No offence, Eunice. But, you know. <laughs> so, anyway. That's me just explaining my position. And to all you haters out there, to all you people that don't like the videos I put out or the videos the rest of the RPG Brigade put out, make your own videos and prove us wrong. Do something positive and productive. If you can say something better than we can, then put it on YouTube and we will appraise it fairly and justly and without harshness or insulting words because all of us, even the ladies, are gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching.